I think the most important thing is for people to understand that the architecture we do is about them more than it is about us. You know, it's about their life, their community, their world, their traditions. I'm not interested in imposing my traditions, my community, and my beliefs on anyone else. I am very much interested in helping them to achieve their own beliefs, their own traditions, and to honor them through the building that they're going to have. And with a church particularly, that's a big deal. You know, we really want to walk in and feel at home. It's the most uh, vulnerable moment we have when you think about God, you think about death, life, birth, your parents, your family. Those things are things that are incredibly impactful. And the church is where we tend to go to kind of reflect on those things. We are there for funerals, we're there for weddings, we're there for baptism, we're there for all those seminal and important moments where you know we reflect on something that's bigger than we are. The modernist architects will say that form follows function, but they forget that beauty can be a function, beauty can be a purpose, and the building has to create that spirit in everyone who comes in there. Uh, Sir Ninian Comper, who was an architect about the same time as Krant, said that uh, a church building, when you go in, is supposed to bring the weary pilgrim to his knees. It's not just a matter of piling up a bunch of rocks or a bunch of steel. It's trying to tell a story, it's trying to convey a meaning, it's trying to convey an experience. I think it's bringing the lessons of the past organically into the present. We are not just copying old buildings. We are picking up where our ancestors left off, making them intelligible to the current situation, making them buildable, and also making that beauty speak to the contemporary situation. It's timeless and yet very timely. The architecture that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis is in some ways a little transitory. Most buildings will get renovated several times during the life cycle of the building. We're building a church that we don't expect anything dramatic to happen to. We're working closely with the congregations to give them a physical manifestation of their vision. Even though we're working with very traditional styles of architecture, we're using the most advanced means and methods that we possibly we do. We're looking for materials that are long-lasting. We're looking at a building that isn't going to constantly need maintenance. Our clients come to us and say they want a building that's at least a hundred-year building. You know, not for just our generation, but for the next generation. The firm was founded doing church architecture and we have continued it to this day. <music>